Uh, hello and greetings. My name is Adam Mahmoud. I'm a civil engineer. I have uh, graduated from Brazici University in Turkey from the field of construction engineering and management. And I'm doing my second master's, which is also on geography and heritage management for international cooperation in Italy. I'm also a professional researcher right now in university of Florence in Italy. Today I'm going to present to you use of a, um, uh, an article uh, which I wrote uh, about drones and um, its uses in construction sites. Okay, in uh, this presentation, um, I'm going to present to you, first of all, the introduction of drones and the key features, um, the type of construction drones and application of the drones and challenging uh, which are facing. Uh, and the, uh, in the last part, it will be conclusion. So let's start. Okay, starting uh, from introduction of drones, actually they were, um, the name, the actual name is UAVS, also means unnamed, um, uh, unmanned aerial vehicles or drones. Drones itself means aircraft. They were originally um, invented as a war weapon uh, and they were used for mission that would be very dangerous for humanity. But recently, they are also being used in other fields, uh, for example, for civil purposes, for business, uh, business purposes, for military purposes, civil purposes, uh, for example, they can be used for recreation or disaster relief, also maybe for archaeological sites or conversation of diversity, and maybe especially for law and enforcement. For business purpose, they can use for um, they can be used for journalism, uh, or uh, maybe for example for um, um, like uh, advertisement and um, agriculture purposes. Also maybe for uh, uh, cargo transport and all that. And in military purpose, they can use um, for serving uh, for some special mi missions which are related to military. But uh, recently, uh, the drones has really boomed the construction engineering in industry, like they are increasingly used in many countries to bring a huge benefit, especially those countries who are unstable or the security is not good enough, such as maybe we can say Africa or maybe Afghanistan or some other countries where the serving in construction sites and all could be a little bit tricky. So they have been used for these purposes. So a key feature of drones, um, like a, a drones actually, uh, it's very simple. Uh, it has very basic features. For example, it has a GPS, uh, which monitors the longitude and latitude and ele uh, elevation points. Uh, it has a camera that shoots high resolution photos and time lapse videos, and also thermal sensors that take aerial heat and thermal images. For example, you can see the, the movement of the bodies or maybe the thermal reaction of um, a building in construction. And it has a software which manipulates data and plan uh, files. Uh, path, for example, the all data which is captured through maybe GPS, camera, or thermal sensor uh, can be sent to computer by software, and uh, the drones are also operated um, by software. So this is the main point of the feature. We have type of con uh, uh, construction do uh, drones. There are various type of uh, drones, but uh, in construction, we are using the commercial drones. Um, and uh, in commercial drones, there are too many, uh, too popular uh, drones type. One is fixed wing drone, another is rotary drone. Fixed wing drone uh, is used for mapping and scanning. Uh, why? Because it can go to really high distance or long distance uh, because of its design. 
and other is rotary drones. So it's used for maybe inspe uh, inspection or serving. Um, uh, why? Because it can shoot a very short distance. So it is not, let's say, for example, that much powerful as fixed wind drones. So it is uh, more elite, the rotary drone. Okay, and now we have application in drones. Um, for example, there are many applications, but I have figured out 10 which were more eye-catching or let's say more important. So first of all is building serving. Building serving is um, one of the most important part in construction. And how can drone help us in this part? For example, um, it can save us uh, from wasting of time. Like serving is always time consuming. Uh, so uh, it can easily survey this um, buildings and it is also it can also help us risk what do i mean by risk for example there is a construction site which is located um, maybe in a um, rural area or maybe an area which is more dangerous for skate holder or building owners to go uh, so surveying with drones can be more efficient because they can see the pictures and all so they can easily survey the site also health and uh, safety how health and safety um, for example like while serving a building it's so dangerous maybe the engineer can fall down or there can be some risks regarding his health so so the drones uh, totally minimize all these risks. The second one was construction site inspection. Um, actually, as I told you before, that um, large uh, areas in construction site are really hard for inspection. For example, some scale holders or maybe some um, um, building owners, they want to have the site inspection. Maybe they are not in present in the city or maybe they are not present in the country. So they can easily inspect the site via drones and drones can give us HD quality also. So it's really better, uh, like drone can catch better than a human eye. We have health and safety induction. Uh, how um, this, uh, for example, they are saving some data. You can survey uh, through drones. You can see like where the excavation has been done, where the workers are working. So you can minimize the risk of accidents by the usage of drones. So that's uh, also an important um, feature or uh, in the, in the in construction drones. We have maintenance uh, and inspection, like sometimes there are some high rising buildings or maybe there are some sites which can be challenging for human to go through this. For example, in the picture, you can see there is a big pipe. Maybe for human, it's hard to go and, uh, and do the inspection inside. So for drone, it's more easier. Or maybe there are some, as I said, high rising buildings and also it can be expensive. How expensive? For example, the arrangements for all this uh, maintenance or maybe the inspection of it can be expensive. So drones really help us to do it quick and easy. And we have a, a project progress reports. This is actually so good for project managers because nowadays, like everyone is working remotely, so they prefer to stay at home. Sometimes if you, for example, the project managers do not want to go on site and uh, like check the progress report, they can do it in home remotely. We are drones, they can, um, operate and evaluate the reports and they can do it like weekly or maybe on monthly basis um, but uh, for example when a human being or when an engineer is doing it on site so maybe he can only um, know about these pre progress reports maybe uh, once in a month so it's more quick and easy for the updates we have promotional photography um, as we know nowadays drones are really used for commercial purposes so it has uh, impressive photography and also 4k or maybe hd video photos and it can uh, in all scale and size so drone can catch every angle of a building or maybe a construction site so it can be really um, effective for photography and for commercial purposes
And we also have life beat or ritual walk. For example, there are some uh, building owners or construction site owners or skate holders. They want to see uh, or they want to experience the site from near and they are outside the country so they can experience it through the ritual walk around. Um, maybe it's more effective for surveying also because you will feel like you're on the site. For example, you can do the ritual walk from the top of the construction construction site from each and every angle, which uh, cannot be possible if a human or if an engineer do it uh, himself. We also have purpose cloud or uh, device scanning. Uh, this is uh, most uh, useful for some uh, missing information because when we have a large area for construction sites, so we always have some missing information. Uh, this really helps us in uh, finding some missing information or maybe finding some uh, serving site uh, for topography and cartography purposes. It can be more efficient. We have thermal imaging recording. Uh, this uh, figure out the cold and hot spot of a construction site. For example, the cold spots are figured out as blue and the heat spots are figured out as red. So it can uh, show us the reaction uh, or what is going on in construction site, even the movement of humans uh, inside the construction site. Uh, we, most of time it is used during the night to, uh, um, for the better evaluation. We have security. Um, as I mentioned it again and again, that for large construction site, like um, uh, for uh, security, it's really efficient. Why? Because it's hard to maintain the security of large construction sites. So drones can be really effective and even with the usage of its thermal, uh, feature so they can figure out the movement of human beings and the movement of uh, maybe some chemicals or other reaction on the construction sites. So these were all the 10 features that I um, explained. Now we have some challenges like even an easy step but still everything has some challenges. So the same drones also face uh, some challenges. Uh, for example, it can be a lack of IT inf uh, infrastructure. How about how this, for example, sometime like using um, this drone may be uh, hard or tricky um, between people or between some uh, high rising buildings. So that's why um, there are very less professionals who can do their work in a good way. So that's why it has been mentioned that there is a lack of IT infrastructure and also rules and regulation because drones are not uh, a permitted equipment. So they are not permitted in everywhere, especially in some countries, even they are not allowed to use for commercial use. So there should be always some kind of, um, uh, let's say um, a certificate that uh, has been used or maybe some licensing. So you can show the government that we are allowed to use these drones. We also have pilot licensing, uh, as I said, that it's tricky to use drones, uh, especially when the area is very tight um, or that there are more people around that area. So there should be some trainings um, uh, in their job, or for example, for engineers, uh, for their pilot licensing, because it's same like being a normal pilot you are mm, operating the device uh, from a room through the software. So it's even more tricky and hard. And there are some uh, train operators, uh, as I said that for after like um, taking the pilot license, then you should be trained uh, in the work. So for example, you cannot use drones after taking your license or maybe after finishing the training. So you need some experience so you can be more efficient in usage of drones. So these were the challenges uh, which are facing and nowadays like construction industry is uh, facing these challenges. So overall, 
although there are some cha uh, challenges and, and but there are still some good points so um, nowadays like um, the drone system has really boomed construction industry and people are more likely to use this war uh, this war weapon more than a construction equipment in their daily lives which has really made the work of engineers and project managers easier and they are more sufficient or more beneficial in construction sites. So uh, thank you so much. If you have any questions, 